my biggest bugbear with Squarespace sites, when I see them out in the wild, is when they have that cube icon in the browser tab. And for some reason, so many people forget to do this. They forget to change it to their own logo, for instance. And even if the site looks amazing, this this icon, this stupid grey cube that Squarespace put on all their websites is there, just looking me in the eye. And I'm thinking, why, why, why haven't you changed this? Why have you gone through all the efforts of building a website and you've just completely missed the browser icon? It really, really gets my back up. And on LinkedIn and in Squarespace forums, communities, I've seen people also being like, what are you doing? Why are you not changing this? It's so simple. So at least it's not just me being a stick left for the rules or, you know, being an absolute Squarespace anorak who, who notices all these tiny things. Like, this is a, a known, a well-known thing. So I want to tell you, change your browser icon. And I'm also going to tell you how to do it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as I've said, one of the biggest mistakes people make is leaving this stupid cube in the browser icon. And when I go onto a website and I see this, I just think this is so unprofessional. If you haven't bothered to pay attention to this, then what else haven't you bothered to pay attention to? So it's a super easy fix. If we go into design and then browser icon, this is where we can add our favicon. So if we add in anything, what I'm going to do is upload just a, a random icon just to show you what this will look like. So I picked something random off the internet uh, and I'm going to upload it now. So we drag and upload. Hit save. Then we'll give this a refresh. And you can see our browser icons changed. So I'm going to leave that in because I quite like that. And it's as simple as that. It makes your site look so much more professional and it almost makes it real. It's it's like you're not playing when it comes to having a website. Like it's not just a side hustle or a side project. This is a real thing. And then if your site's good enough, no one's going to be able to even tell it's Squarespace because there's no more dead giveaways left. And hopefully that's the cherry on top for your website. So if you did find this useful, then make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the resources in the description below.